Hey folks, this is Joel Duggan and welcome to the realm of Vastin where, wow, things have changed over the Christmas holiday. Uh, I unfortunately did not have a chance to play much because I was under the weather. I had to take care of myself instead of taking care of things in Minecraft, but looks like everybody else has been busy little bees uh, and putting up a ton of stuff. Uh, I was live on the stream where we built this, or at least we started to build this, but it looks like people have come in and finished it. Really, really cool build. I love, me and Klautos were messing around with, with the roof on Harper Hall, which is what this is called, and taking the roof almost down to the ground like that, brilliant idea. I, I think it was kind of like a happy accident that I did, but then Klautos pointed out and was like, no, dude, we have to do that. So we did, and man, it's just such a unique looking structure. I really, really like it. Uh, of course, I think this is Grumpy Owl and his inn, which is just massive. And I love the roof shapes. Just all kinds of stuff happening. More, I, I don't know if there's more path here. I've been doing a little bit, not much. And we'll get to that in just a second. But I want to I wanna walk around and take a look at what other people are doing. I need to get better at this detail stuff. Like this is where I tend to fail a little bit, I think. I need to get a little bit better at really putting in a lot of detail into some of the lower parts because they're closer to the player when you walk by. And I need to start messing around with some stained glass. But for now, like whenever I log into Vastin, I always seem to be tasked with, you know, the tree. Uh, so it's it's something I'm very much looking forward to doing, but it, it's a bit it's a big job. And wow, there's even a there's a wall here now? Man, so much has changed. Okay, let's just get over here. Uh something that I was working on because I needed a break from the tree was the path to the tree. Uh we did the main entrance here, which looks quite small compared to everything else now. Uh, but this is kind of like the lower part of the main entrance. I want to try to maybe squeeze something in here and here on either side. Something that'll add a little bit more height and a little bit more grandeur, I think, to this. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what yet, but we'll sort that out when the time comes. But we have this main road. And what I did was I continued this all along and I added the curves to it thought about a potential bridge that would go over this way and kind of thought about the approach to the tree as you're coming up this way. Now, all of this is going to be slabbed and stared and it'll be a nice smooth uh, transition for people to go up. But I did this before it was before, I guess, Jermsey came in and did these towers and walls, man, it adds so much. And it's really hard in the, or, what? Hold, fix it. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> this is going to happen a lot this episode, folks. It, it's just, it's inevitable. Look at that. You guys are monsters. Monsters. That's amazing. I love the ice. I remember talking to Fix-It about this and how long it took. <laughs> so respect. Respect the Fix-It because that is that is not an easy thing to do. Man, that looks really cool. Uh, Anyway, I had only just put in this road roughly and then this path roughly and I had smoothed it out I think to about here I think the transition was a lot sharper and I feel like you now that tree wasn't there I feel like this landscaping is new Pro probably germ has come in and done a little bit of work here I know the trees weren't here before uh, so I don't know how much of this path he's actually smoothed out uh, I know I did evoke to here but it looks like yeah, it's still pretty rough up this way. So this is where I had left off. I hadn't done this far. But if you go back and and you you think about what's happening when you walk up this path, it, it happened exactly as I was hoping it would. And that is you come in through this, this path and the whole way you can sort of see, like you can sort of see the cathedral, but but it's hidden and, and it's not as prominent because it's not framed. But then when you come through here, it's just bam, right? Because the path curves to the right just a little bit so that you're facing in that direction. And then you turn this way and you get to see the castle and the castle walls. But again, like it's going to be hidden. And then coming up here, you get a really nice view of the cathedral. So fix it gets to show off. And then you round this corner. And this is my favorite part. This is something that I did uh, off camera and that I've kind of blocked in this entrance to the courtyard for the frost tree and the castle but look check out that reveal when you come around the corner you're going to be able to get both the frost tree and germsy's castle all in one spot 
like it's i'm really excited about way this is coming together and i need to, i need to do some some heavy lifting and get a lot more of the lines done on the tree but man i'm just i'm so so stoked that this stuff is coming together so quickly there's something over here that i've got i don't know what that is it's huge whatever it is no, nothing is small on Vastin. i'm learning very quickly uh, except for maybe my builds those tend to be pretty small but let's let's take a look at the road from above and you'll see kind of what i was going for just give me a second here sometimes flying on the server is challenging so let's just land i want to say here is probably going to be good enough i've got a couple of platforms here and yeah so you can see the curve of the road i wanted to try and stay with the land maybe give some some room for something to happen here curves in here comes into the stairs now this is where the stairs divide and they either go down this path to this other gate that Jermsey built that was there first and then they also wind up this way this is the path that we just walked that comes up and comes in the main gate here for the courtyard uh, but the other thing that i wanted to talk about is the waterways we've got several rivers and several spots that look like they could have been rivers when minecraft generated the terrain but they haven't connected so i think we're going to connect some of these up and in some cases it looks like it's going to be able to go like under the road which is really cool and then in other ways it's either going to go under the castle or behind the castle i was talking with the, the guys in discord and there's some changes happening to the castle and until that happens we really can't decide what's going to happen with the water we'd like to connect uh there's a river can you see it yeah like it's right right there can i zoom in it's right there we'd like to try to connect that through here somehow it won't be a straight line like that uh, but there's several different waterways there's one that goes off in that direction and you can see again where it's just not quite low enough for for the water to form so we're gonna kind of dig these out smooth them out a little bit and i think that way it'll give everybody a floor plan in a way that they can kind of squeeze creatively uh different types of buildings and houses and things and really kind of populate this area this almost creates an island here with like the cathedral and and uh, the staircase and the edge of the edge of the castle so that could be a really fun thing to do same thing there's already a natural island there so there's going to be some really interesting curves and and obstacles that we'd have to incorporate into uh the roads and the infrastructure and i think that's where my brain is focused right now as far as helping out with the city and stuff i don't i don't know what to add i kind of want to watch everybody else and seeing what they're doing with these structures because it's just so beyond i've never done anything quite like that like th this is on a nothing is straight everything's on an angle it's crazy so cool uh so i kind of want to soak more of that in before i really give it a solid go myself uh i can i know that i'm good at stuff like the tree like i, I know i can handle the organic stuff so i i've always got something like that to flex my artistic muscle but i really want to uh to help out in the city by by smoothing out these waterways uh giving them a solid edge that isn't isn't so chunky and minecrafty and maybe give it a little bit more of a natural feel uh i like what i did over here with some of the ice like this is all placed on purpose so it looks like it's a, a thicker ice along the edge of the river uh, so that could be fun to kind of mess around with in different spots because this is all just regular ice not packed ice the other thing i wanted to take a look at is this area over here that i want to say it's fix it and grumpy owl i think anyway this is just really neat i just i love the look of this place how do you get in it's like a little a little quarter like look how narrow the alleyways are and how dense everything is the lanterns and i mean this is a custom texture pack and there's a bear <laughs> okay that wouldn't give you a fright at all walking down your your cozy city street <laughs> to find a polar bear hiding and looking at you from behind the bushes that we gotta name these guys we have to have like you know sneaky the polar bear and oh hey look fix it has just dropped in let's, let's sneak up on him <laughs> oh that was too funny <laughs> victory is mine <laughs> oh my that is so good just let him know that i'm recording too oh brilliant 
Oh, so, so funny. Uh, I hope everybody's been enjoying the Vast and Dimension tours that Fixit and I did uh, last week because I've been posting those on YouTube and th they were super, super fun. But oh my, oh man, that was, I could not resist. Anyway, this, this place is just looking so good. Oh, he slept. Okay. It was looking kind of cool at night, but yeah, like, oh man, there's like so many different colors. Like I, everything that I'm doing right now is just so gray. I really want to use these, these dark blue um, wood planks are awesome. So, so neat. Um, all this stuff looks so good guys and gals. I'm not sure who else has, has worked on this, but man, oh, I wish I had more time in the day. I wish I had more time in the day. I just, I've been so excited about what's happening on the server, just popping in and chatting with people that I needed to come on and, and show you guys, just kind of give you a quick look around. Uh, one of the things that I do want to do today, uh, for actual, you know, work is, uh, is attempt to, uh, smooth out some of these waterways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the things that are, are running up against the road here and specifically this bridge, cause I'd like to try and do a little bridge and I want to try and make this kind of a smoother, more natural looking river and connect it to a couple different places, uh, especially here. Cause I think, Oh, somebody did dig it out. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, I want to try and do this. So maybe it's not a straight line, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to take a look, crack at this and and smooth some of these things out so let's take a fly up top and see what it looks like now and then we'll fly back over again after i've done a little bit of work if i can fly i would like to fly now thank you uh, flying on vastin for me is always a challenge okay so let's do a little bit higher might have to invest in some slow falling potions for this kind of stuff but yeah see like this is a little bit helter skelter i'd like to kind of smooth this out make it look a little bit more natural, connect it all through here. And then over on this side, we've really, we've already got some cool lines to follow with what people have been building. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we can come up with something. I'm sure that we can come up with something. And this is just, this is a mess. This is my hot mess. I apologize. It will be eventually taken care of. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get digging. Uh, let's get uh, some ice and we'll sort out the rivers. So as per usual, this kind of thing takes a lot longer than you usually anticipate, uh, but it looks like we've made some progress here. Uh, I've got it smoothed out and looking pretty natural all about through here down to the ocean. Uh, this is a little bit sharp, but you know, sometimes rivers take sharp turns. I didn't want to get too narrow here because I thought it might be good to imply that a ship or a small vessel could could sail up here and eventually get to other places. Uh, I'm not really sure where the lore is on that kind of thing, but you know, we can always uh, adjust that a little bit uh, going forward. But if we fly over this way, we can also see that I've kind of fanned it out. So it has a little bit of a delta when it gets to the ocean here. And then it's got this nice kind of winding, I guess, back and forth uh, along here. And then underneath this section, I actually, uh, carved this out at a bit of an angle and started kind of bringing it through here. Not perfect. I mean, obviously we still have a few, a few things that need to be fixed up. Uh, I also do want to go underneath all of this ice and, and uh, you know, give it a much cleaner look. Like you can see where I've kind of adjusted things and just kind of put in the top line. And then after that, it's a lot easier to just kind of go underneath and, and carve out a little bit of a riverbed or something like that. We don't have to get too fancy with it because you can't see a whole lot through the ice, but I'd like to get rid of like some of this stuff and, and some of uh, the other, I guess, looks like a shelf, like a like a riverbed shelf. I'd, I'd rather have it look a little bit more gradual. Uh, but so far, so good. I think it does a lot for uh, where you can kind of uh, envision putting other builds. So if we can fly up here, get as high as I can, and then turn around, you can see like now it looks like there could be like room for a build here. There's obviously room for some stuff there. And I think also uh, in this area too, by pushing this out, if we make these cliffs a little bit steeper, then I think that you can kind of like cram some more, some more stuff in along here. Uh, but that is unfortunately all the time I have for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. You can find everything that I am doing online at joelduggan.com. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter with just my name, Joel Duggan. And while you are out there on the interwebs, check out The Spawn Chunks. It is the Minecraft podcast that I do with my friend Pixel Riffs. We are having a lot of fun doing it. We've got some guests lined up for later on uh, this month and next month. 
So check it out at thespongechunks.com or search for it on your favorite podcast app. Until then, I will see you next time, folks.